now we are with another nice question and for this question it is let's say two triangles okay we have two triangles and the uh, one of the triangle is pqr and one of the triangle is pst it says that in the diagram triangle pqr is an enlargement of triangle pst so this side is giving us um four centimeters and this side is giving us two centimeters is that clear good now and this side is also giving us 10 centimeters we are to find the length of st now they said one is the enlargement of the other this side is two this side is two and this side gave us four so from here we can get a scalar factor over here is that clear we can get a scalar factor from um from um this and that because it looks like the multiplication of this gave us this so what's the scalar factor if we get if we get our scalar factor we can use the scalar factor to do here and here as well exactly so now this is what we are going to do now when we when when we are going to divide this 10 by this 2 so 10 divided by 2 that is that is i mean qr divided by what qs and this is going to give us five centimeters this five centimeters become a scalar for s because if i multiply five by two here i'm going to get ten so it means that if i multiply this five by this four we have over here i also, I also have to get this one being what 20 centimeters so simple like that so simple and the next question says that if pq if line pq is equal to line pr so where's pq this p q is equal to line p r okay so this and this are the same so if this is six this side is also six automatically okay find the area of um find the area of pqr p q r to find the area now we know that uh, we have uh, uh, our longer side or we have our base to be 10 we don't know the height so we have to find the height but we know pr to be 6 so we have to find pr we have to find pr after we find pr we can use half base and height to solve for it it's very 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 it's very, very simple it's very very simple okay it's, it is very very simple so how do we find it so we will just have to draw some uh, maybe probably a broken line to the middle we have our uh, uh, our base we have our uh, one side so we want the height so how do we find for the other side we can use a uh, 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 we, we can use the Pythagoras theorem we can use the Pythagoras theorem to find it because the longer side already is giving us to be six if I divide it because if I divide this this diagram like this you see if I divide this diagram like this meaning this side is five and this side is five so this PR become the hypotenuse that's the longer side and we know that to find the other side we use uh, the Pythagoras theorem okay opposite square hypotenuse square like that so we are, we are saying that h square should give you opposite square plus adjacent square now hypotenuse will be our six so six square should be equal to now the down here the down here one can be opposite one can be adjacent so let's say this one is um let's take here to be opposite so opposite is five square so five square is equal to what a square so let's see So let's see. So six square is thirty six. Then five square is twenty five. Should give me what a square. Now this two when this one crosses thirty six minus nine minus twelve twenty five is going to give us nine being equal to what a square. Exactly. So our a will be equal to what three because if I, if I square root here and I square root here I'm going to get three. So it means that this height the height we have over here is three. 
Now we have all the sides. Then we use half base times height. 1 over 2 base times height. Is that clear? We know our height to be 3. This is 3. And our base is what? 5. Then we find the area of it. That's all. And we know how to use this formula, right? I've, I've calculated the height for you. That's 3. So let's use this formula. And find it. And, 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 and when you do that, if you put the base here, that's 5. And you put this here, you, you are going to get something like, I think, 7.5 7 or so. And that is the, that is the, that is the uh, meters, you add meters square to it. And that is all. It's very, it's very, very simple. Unless you are, you are not trying to understand what it is. But it's very, very simple. Now, the B part is also another very nice, interesting question. It says that the total area of a school compound is 900 and a half meters square. The school has administration block, classroom block, library park, roads, and railways in the areas. And they gave the areas. They said classroom block, uh, for classroom uh, administration, classroom block, library, and school park are given. That's 300, 301 fourth meter square, 200 and a half meter square. Uh, 120, 180 meter square. We should find the road exactly. Now, this is very simple. They just want to make us feel that we don't know what we are doing, that the question is so tricky that we can't do it. But trust me, it's one of the simplest questions as far as this BC 2024 is concerned. Oh, uh, now let's get straight into it. Now, the school compound, okay, let me use SC for school compound. We have 900 and half. 900 and half is the same as 900 over 2. <laughs> you get it? So it's going to give us 450 meters square. That's the total size of the school compound. I, I don't know what you get me. So it's 900 and half. So 900 and half is the same as uh, 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 900 900 half 900 and 900 and half so it, it's not like 900 and half it's like it's like 900 half 300 one fourth so if you you are going to get what 920 that is that is so simple like that then we come to um administration block that is the first one that is 300 and one fourth so 314 is the same as 300 divided by what four and that's going to give us what 75 meter square then we come to classroom the classroom is 200 and half so 200 and a half is going to give us what 100 meter square then you go to the next one that is library I think library and park they give us library and park right so library and park is also going to give us 120 and 18 so it's 120 divided by 8 that's going to give us 15 meter square we should find the road and railway now so what we're going to do is that we are going to subtract this this part from the school compound that's 450 so it's going to be 450 minus 75 minus 100 minus 15 and that is going to give us 260 meter square and that is for road and walkway that is all so simple like that just simple like that so very simple like that so very simple now let's go to the next one that is our final question that's number six so